First up, find the longest chain. What do you think it is? Yeah, you should count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we count one, five, seven. If you said six, you're just off by one. Okay, this looks like um, a T butyl, but it's actually adding one, two to the main chain instead of just one from here. So you got seven, that's a heptane. Now the substituents, which would be here, 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 and there. Well, these three are methyls, so it's a trimethyl. So we have trimethyl. And then this one here is an isopropyl. So the next step is to figure out the numbering so we can put it in our template. So I can number it the one from the left hand side or at the bottom. Where would you prefer? Wait, where's one? Uh, oh, isopropyl is one of those two special ones to know. It's the attachment point, it looks like a line. Oh, okay. So it's a CH and then CH3 is here. Okay. The other one is the T butyl, yeah. which looks like this, but that's part of our main chain, so we can't name it as a T butyl. So the isopropyl has another line If there was another line right there through the middle, that'd be a T butyl. So, uh, oh, the numbering. You want to start one here or one down here? If you start at the bottom, it'll give you the lowest set of numbers because notice most of it is towards the right side of the molecule. So that would give me a 2, 2, 3 trimethyl. Question? Yeah? Isn't there a four methyl? Like uh, this? This, this one? Yeah, one. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. No, these are branches, like right the, the circles, and those are the methyls, right? These are methyls, that's a methyl. So what, where you put the one, isn't that counted as methyl as well? Uh, well, yeah, if you looked at it by itself, it's a methyl, but it's part of the heptane chain. Um, so it's continuous. What, what part, without living, lifting your chalk, I guess, that is your main chain. So, for example, I could draw all this without lifting my chalk, but to draw these branches, I have to lift my chalk. I don't have to lift my chalk to draw this first branch. So it's not considered a branch. It's part of your trunk system. Mm -hmm. So, and then the isopropyl is four. Question? Oh, yeah. Would it matter if instead of the two, two, tri one, uh -huh. one of those two methyls, would it matter if you chose the one part of the branch as a methyl and one of the others as part of the chain, would that make a difference? Doesn't matter, yeah. That's also interesting. Like, first question, you can, uh, we haven't, I haven't mentioned it specifically, but let's call it conformer, okay. and it doesn't change anything about it. Mm -hmm. So you can put the one here, uh, because I didn't draw this in 3D. <clears throat> so, does that make sense? It's flat? Yeah. Because it's flat, um, you can. Th there's there's no difference between those methyls. In fact, if you drew it in 3D, you see they're also the same. Okay. So this, if I named it all in one fail swoop, I've got the four dash isopropyl. Oops. Y L dash two comma two comma three trimethyl. Uh, heptane. So far so good? Okay, let's try another one. Uh, Okay, let's name that. 
Same sort of thing. Uh, it's just written in condensed formula now instead of the bond line. So you have to find the main chain. So you can choose here how you want to do it. You can write it out and expand it, kind of a Lewis sort of structure, or you can put it in the bond line formula. Any preference which way you want to do it? Both? Okay. So if you wanted to redraw this in the expanded sort of way, it would look like this. There's a CH with two CH3s on it. Then there's five CH2s. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's a carbon. Oh, this should be three. Then there's a carbon. And then on that carbon are three CH3s. So there's it drawn out. You could draw it in the bond line formula if you wanted to, which would just be uh, the longest chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then there's uh, a methyl here, and then there's two methyls here. Where did the hydrogen on the end of, what is that come from? Oh, there. Yeah, this hydrogen is that. Any, any questions how I went from one diagram to the other? So one more time. I just this C has two CH3s on it, then five CH2s, one, two, three, four, five. And then the last carbon has three CH3s on it. To go to the bond line, there's different ways you could do it. My method was to count the longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight, nine. So I draw a 9 first, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. And then I put, there's one methyl on the 2 and two methyls on the 8. Yeah? If you were naming it and you were starting from the right, would it be uh... And we will name it. Okay. Well, sorry. Right. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That kind of answers your question. Yeah. We will name it to answer your question, I guess. Okay. Uh, so to name this, it's a 9, so it's a non-ane. The branches are here and here, or if you prefer to look at this picture, the, here's a branch, and these two are branches. So it's got methyl branches, a trimethyl. Then you need the numbering, so you put in the template. Uh, so it would number the lowest if you start numbering from the right because it would give you a 2,2 dimethyl and then an 8, so really a 2,2,8 trimethyl. Versus if you numbered from the left hand side, you'd have a 2,8,8 trimethyl. So, uh, why is it trimethyl? There's actually three methyls. One's here. And two more there. Or if you look in the other picture, one's here, and two are there. Uh, the second one's not considered an ethyl. Ethyl would look like that. It has to be continuous. Where this, you have to draw that, you have to lift up your pen, bond that, bond that. Here, it goes continuously away from this, from the branch, from the main chain. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Yes. So what is this considered the bottom CH3? The, uh, the branches at the bottom? These are the same thing, three methyls. And the bottom ones, the ones you did not Part of the main chain. So one, two, three, or if you start with side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So your main chain doesn't have to be linear. It can be wiggly like a tree. It's wiggly. So, and that's totally fine. So the total name is 228-trimethyl nonane, one word. Yeah? I have a question about like, the first one. For isopropyl. Up here? I, yeah. yeah. For isopropyl, when you do alphabetical, do you do the I or P? The I. Okay. Comes first. Yeah, so that's one word. 